Okay, Houston, right, we've had a problem here. This is Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Houston, we don't have any problems, except my board here. <laughs> Houston, we don't have any problems today. We're going to learn about this. Interactive waves. Remember we said that when a wave moves through a medium, it reflects. But sometimes a wave's going to hit a wave. Now we know when two cars crash, <laughs> they like stick. But you know what waves do? When a wave meets a wave, they just move through each other. Now there's different ways that they can move. So let's say I've got this wave. And then I add to it this wave. I tried to draw these identically, not a very good job. What happens when these guys move through each other? I don't know if you figure it out, but it's gonna look like that. They're additive, so since we crest meets crest, so these crests become twice that amount if they're identical. They, when they meet, so if a crest meets a crest, then they add. They're gonna have a much bigger wave. Again, when we talked about resonance earlier, if you can make bigger and bigger waves as they add together, this makes a huge difference. But you can have another instance, so sketch this, guys. Opposite waves, where the crest and the troughs are opposite. You know what your answer is when you put these two together? that. No wave. They cancel each other out. When waves add together to make bigger waves, we use this term, we call it this. Constructive interference. Makes sense, right? I'll bet you can figure out what to call it when they add together and they, boop, they kill each other out. Destructive interference. So constructive interference is when you add waves, then they make bigger waves. Destructive interference is when you add waves and they cancel each other out. An interesting application of this has to do with a noise canceling headphones. I have a pair and they're just amazing, especially when I get on an airplane and I want to just tune out the world. You know what it does? It's actually got a, it's got a processor inside of the, the computer basically, and it's analyzing the sound. And then it produces sounds that are opposite and you get destructive interference. If you've ever tried on a, uh, noise canceling headphones, I encourage you to, it's, it's crazy. It's, and, and the better ones have got better computers that analyze the noise. It's best if it's like a consistent sound, like the, the hum of an airport. Or a <laughs> it's best if you have the, a consistent sound, like the hum of an airplane. And then boom, it can just cancel out that sound. And I, I've slept a lot on airplanes because of those awesome headphones that I have. So it's taking that same idea, the, the idea, not the same idea, but the idea of a destructive interference to uh, watch how they add. And we're going to do a number of times in class. We're going to play with waves and try and add them, and you're going to see constructive and destructive interference. So we've been talking about sound waves mostly, but it doesn't just apply to sound waves. Interference patterns can also happen in water. Take a look. So here I'm at the lake with a couple of sticks with duct tape. So if I hit the water, we're going to make a wave pattern. See how that radiates out. But what happens when I hit with two sticks? Let's check it out. Now notice that there's an interference pattern happening. Do this again. You're getting constructive and destructive interference at different locations. So you can see how that works like with, with, with water. And take a look at this image. And what you can see is you can see there are some places where you have constructive interference and then places where you have destructive. So if you have kind of this weird, it's called, this is called an interference pattern. And it's very cool to see this. And so this is important. Again, I keep going back to sound, but if you're in a theater and you're the sound guy, you could have some problems where some of the sound's gonna cancel out or something's gonna add and make certain places louder because you have multiple speakers producing multiple places of sound. And so getting the theater tuned right is really important. Uh, otherwise, you can really create a problem in a room filled with sound. Fascinating things as we learn about how, how waves both add or subtract constructive or destructive interference. So ultimately, an interference pattern is a, is, a, is a pattern that shows you both the constructive and the destructive interference in sort of a more complex system. Houston, no problems. We'll see you in class.